week, so. Mm -hmm. Remind you that the matches are coming up tomorrow. We'll talk about those later, but we'll take a look what you guys think about this uh, matchup and who do you think will win? Yeah, not surprising. Actually, high percentage for the draw. 16% is out there. Yeah, it's a pretty high chance of draw, just because maybe they're looking at where they stay on the leaderboards right now, thinking, well, maybe they're closer. Yeah. Just because of that, but I, I do think... And he said, do have somewhat of a distinct advantage. They, ha I think they played pretty well last season as a team. I think they grew quite a bit. Mm -hmm. so, <laughs> important thing is, uh, Max Game's is starting right now. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I, I hyped you up. If you're going to Montreal, make yeah. sure you let us know because we definitely love to meet everybody there. Yeah. Um, Sao Paulo, well, Rio was a bit difficult because. Yeah. I mean, we're always busy, but no one ever minds uh, oh, yeah. coming up and saying hi. Absolutely. I just mean busy in the sense of like, yeah, we're usually at desks. So. Yes. We're, we're usually further away from the action, but yeah, hopefully for Invitational, we'll get to see as many of you guys as possible. There you go. IQ and Ying, which are the two operators that were banned before. Yeah. We didn't so see the rest. Where we go from here. Makes sense that we see the the Valkyrie ban. Mira. Nope. Okay. Well, I I seriously doubt they're going to ban it oh, themselves. Oh, Red Devils. If I don't know why you ban the Mira, anyways, it's consulate. But if you don't ban a Valkyrie, I swear to God, they didn't. The absolute madman. Well, they were the ones who banned the IQ. So it was. It should have been INTZ that did instead of Mira. I, so the fact that they banned someone that's not that important and left. I don't why know. would you ban the Mira on consulate? It's, you know, everyone's got their own thing. It's, yeah, it's, I'm not here to shame people. It, it for might have been decision. the case of a, in scrims or in BR6 or something else, they saw something they didn't like. That's more often the case rather than just, uh, you know, Mira's really good on consulate. We need to get rid of it. <laughs> I like how you default to like a, a movie. There wasn't even really like an accent, Russian but it was just kind of like, accent. yeah, it turned into one. Kill it was Nikki Capitao there. So look at, you know, faking like they were going to go with the, the double hard breacher instead sneaking in the Capitao was a good idea. But it is against Grush and uh, Bro. Uh, it's just gonna go from bandit to bandit, so that's very sneaky as Attackers well. Attackers need to locate and defuse bombs. Okay, both boot and the bandit are in play, which is really Attackers uneventful. Honestly, though, it's not a bad idea, just because, oh, yeah. uh, for one thing, first off, you can. Uh, there's a lot of spots you want to mute. I like that being a little electrical box. It seems appropriate. You can definitely you jam uh, the entirety of the. Yellowstone. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of the top floor you could, or the middle floor that you could get from below. And if you really wanted to, you can get an extra, you know, ability to deny a drone coming directly in the drone hole to peek bandits, see when he's trying to juggle. You can force them to have to try and destroy that mute jammer before they can drive in. That one I'm, he's watching right now. Which is interesting because I said do not bring a Thatcher, which means they're going to focus a lot more on taking piano. Yeah, you got to at this point. Otherwise, or if you want to be really ballsy, you can go from yellow stairs, just like peek in real quick. Oh, man. That that works sometimes. Because because I, I believe there's a mute jammer right behind the yellow stairs, which means you're not going to be able to see much. No, yeah. you're going to have to take that out somehow first or just go for it, you know? But uh, because the Velvet's actually going to stay all the way upstairs and be on that dock realm and just try and be a pain and make them force them to have to clear the top floor. So, we'll see how it goes once they start droning in and such. But the, uh, I, I mean, I wonder if Mute's even bringing a shotgun if he's having to open that up with the uh, yeah. little shotgun pistol there. Actually, uh, this is definitely something we're not sure of because, uh, again, this is Latin America, Ooh. so we're not the ones that are in control of the camera. Marcio is not, you know, getting directions from us in here because he doesn't observe this because this is done locally in Brazil. But Duds will walk into the. Uh, Cafeteria and not find anyone. He, Just he almost found Velvet for a second there, though. Some good pre-fire from Velvet. I gotta, I, I gotta say, because he rotated so far from that, but Duds doesn't know how far he rotated. So he was able to actually do a decent amount of slowing down the push in admin without over contesting it to the point where he died, and he can still oh. rotate back. Oh, there we go. There's where he over contested. To be fair, though, he did have an ACOG as well. He I could have fought that back, but. Not sure. He didn't have any information to play off of there. No. Velvet just easily shut down. It's a quick cleanup here for INTZ. And every time I see the word, you know, the name Velvet the player there, it just reminds me of the song Black Velvet. Uh, I thought you were going to say Velvet Chill. Velvet Chill as well, but mostly. Oh, is that a. It's a Duggan C4. Well, that's. I guess. Is that like a 200 IQ kind of thing? Yeah. Interesting play there. Uh, we'll see if that ends up actually working. We'll see if he catches one. I like that Claymore. Gonna be kind of a pain to get to. But they do have control of piano now, so those batteries. Oh! oh there's that prep. That was. No, that was, wasn't even the prep one, was it? 
That was uh, another thrown one, I think. Can we get a replay down here? <laughs> right? No, it no, wasn't. Yeah, because the prep one's still there. All right, that, nicely done. I mean, hey, if you think about it this way, Please do there, if there's another um, C4 that's thrown up, oh, oh no, it does get shot down. See, that was nice. They had yeah. Yellowstairs control after. Here's the thing. Because there was a C4 that was already set, if you chuck up another C4, you can't hear the, the other, you know, um, beep on top of it, right? Mm -hmm. It just depends on how close you are to it. So it'll fake you out for just a millisecond that is required to you, for you to, you know, drop in and get the kill. But speaking of kills, Vitz will find one on Duds. The Maestro has relocated, by the white van. So not sure how much work the Havana has done. This will be a dive directly on the van itself. VNX will get one to spray all the way in the back. 49 bullets left in the, the uh, belt here as Vitz will find one. The Asha Yuk will penetrate the defenses, but it's a 1v3. And Mitty inside of the break room downstairs will find the kill. Yuk is taken down. Very quickly dispatched, and Red Devils, I have to say, that was a beautiful bit of teamwork. They definitely opened up some avenues and then somewhat collapsed on them. You know, they would kind of clear a little bit of a pathway, let the attackers come to them, and then collapse on them a bit. That, that original C4 kill, though, that definitely made a big difference, though. They were doing a good job opening up the floor and setting up to really put a lot of pressure downstairs. So because they were able to actually get a kill out of that, stop the buck, that stopped a lot of the pressure downwards, gave them a bit more mobility downstairs, like for being, for example, being able to play potentially behind the white van or rotate to the side of it like you saw the maestro doing. So it just gave them a bit more flexibility, but then also some other good kills. It was unfortunate the Doc kind of sacrificed himself a little bit early, but Sneaky Capital yet again, this time faking out for the Glass Elite, and he will get it in. On that capped out, we'll see if the capped out works a little bit more effectively this time, but on a different bomb site. This might have been even the bomb site they were to intentionally bring it for, thinking this would be the first bomb site. You never know. It's it's always a little bit of guesswork and mm -hmm. semi mind reading in terms of whether or not you they they expected a site or not. Uh, some teams just always bring the same lineup regardless, or mostly the same lineup, minus adjustments later in the rounds. So we'll see. I am interested in seeing how anti Z proceed in the assault here because it makes sense for an Adam and take. Um, there's reinforced walls here in the bathroom, and the instant those are detected, it pretty much just. I mean, you can box yourself in and maybe send the ash on that angle uh, to play in the yellow stairs, especially since there's no lesion. But Adam and take makes the most sense, and even more sense um, you know, to have the Capitao that is going to play along the balcony on the outside here by the... Oh, what is that? Our projector is completely open. And they're going to have the maestro in there. What? <laughs> <laughs> that didn't work out the way he was hoping for. It almost seemed like what they were looking at it too out of curiosity. This that is, is so a odd. strange defense. I've never seen that. I was going to talk about like how Boar is going to play with the Habana so he can destroy the side of the wall and start pushing in, and how they're going to deal with the dock on the other side by the bathroom. Well, throw that all out of the window now, yeah. because that is not happening. They're getting creative here. Certainly going to throw like off it. the attackers, though, if they don't drone it and don't expect it. I mean, it might mess with how they're actually planning on their attack push to happen in terms of uh, where they want to get 12 smokes going out a little bit wow. prematurely. I mean, yes, that will stop them from swinging in, I suppose gives you a chance to reposition, although they're actually playing for what would normally be a mirror play. Maybe that was what the ban was for, was to uh, stop that from being, you know, as part of their defense, maybe knowing that they were going to be playing that particular style of mirror play. Look at how Yook is trying to deal with Vitz inside of the copier. Um, no angle given to him, uh, unfortunately, for Yook. Nice. Yeah, he's still going to drone it, though. Yeah, they're just stalling out at this point. They they kind of figure out what's going on. Fortunately, he doesn't really have a good escape route unless they start getting a few kills of their own to kill some of those attackers off the windows. But hey, if you can burn up this time, you don't always have to get away. Oh, he'll find it. Dutz will go down. VNX is taking quite a bit of damage from below. Now the buck, but Vitz will find the second one. Yook on the ash, dispatched. And on the outside, can he go for it? He'll just going to spray, oh, but no. no. Just finding the crossbow of the Capitao as the Valkyrie will be forced back for just a second. Still going to scare him off the window, though, so job done. Nitro Cell is still available here as he'll try to use the back wall to his advantage. Mitty, unfortunately, will fall in the engagement, just mm. peeking in from the main doorway. Abro is down below, though. He can move in from the server. 
I like it. If he can get away with it, that could definitely be a big play here. He's waiting for that moment, too. Yeah, there is not a lot of time here for the attack side of INTZ. And they'll have to attack from bottom up. And bottoms up is usually a you know a good thing, but not in this case. So. It's a good way to end up upside down. <laughs> <laughs> Truer words have not been said, my friend. Well, Abraun will now rotate up 15 seconds on the clock as he'll force the dive on the B site. A Red Devil setting up for the retake. Velvet will find one. He'll fell the second. And all up to Bakiris. He's right on the rappel. Save the up. Fortunately, the diffuser way too far to not only retrieve, but also to try and plant afterwards. So deciding, you know what? I don't even want to get to fight at that point. So Red Devils putting up a heck of a starting fight here. Yeah, I'll we'll remind you that all of this is a simulation. Yeah. It is like in the lore. This is like no, yeah, yeah. Rainbow Prince. I was I was agreeing with you. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Just oh. like to to. to <laughs> You know, add on top of it yeah. for, for anybody that like. Whoa, whoa, of course, whoa, whoa, whoa. without like understanding. These aren't real people. This is based on a true story. All the names and events are, have been changed. To yeah, my, my best friend Habana. <laughs> Not best friend anymore. It's dead. <laughs> Sneaky Capcan coming out this time. Ooh. So the Capital being faked, so he can six pick yet again. See, that's at least using it in some different ways. That uh, is not just going to be repeating the same ideas. Bomb. But we have seen that done quite a few times where when you suddenly go to the thing that you've been six picking to, sometimes that will be an indicator that you're going to six pick away from it. But either way, it seemed to work out okay. Yeah, the captain now will... I'm, I'm, I'm very intrigued because uh, you look at Secret versus G2, Fabian played the captain and... Well, that worked out. It worked out very well. Um, but how will it work out for MIDI here? Because it's a bit more difficult. There's the... If you want to contrast Villa to Consulate, Villa has more rooms and they're all closer to one another because of the doorways, whereas here, you don't really have the same level of flexibility on the gap. Yeah, sure. There's still a lot of rooms, but they're kind of spaced out in a way where there's a lot of hallways, and those... Ooh, okay. Good start. I, so nice stick all you want. Yeah. <laughs> nice shot by Velvet, though. That's, that's the dock getting away with it this time. Uh, good start for Red Devils. Well, there's the drone just flying up. Unfortunately, does catch Velvet, but hey, it's gone now. And that means no eyes in the room, which is all the more important. He throws another one, again, sacrificing it to Velvet. Yeah, of course, no evil eyes and no good eyes. Uh, only Red Devils. Only. <laughs> the Red Devils, incidentally, is also the... Uh, the name of the Belgian football team. The actual. I thought you were gonna say a band. It sounds like a band name too, but yeah. Probably, probably somewhere in Finland, or in Brazil. Brazil actually has a high per capita metal band uh, percentage, or not percentage, but like number. Hmm. No, it's very more. You know. <laughs> I am very fun at parties. Yeah. I can guarantee. I'm glad you label them as fun facts, just to you know not confuse them with boring. Yeah. Either way, though, speaking Sorry. of boring, they've bored their way on into admin despite sacrificing nearly every drone they had. At least you can see they still have a few. They did oh. manage to get in. Get control. Oh, oh no, you had the spot. <laughs> the drone was right in front of you, and a bro will find it even with the C4 coming in. Probably from called below. it out too late. Fortunate there for INTZ. They'll lose the buck on the entry. VNX taking a bit of damage here on the Valkyrie, but. Feels good. Valkyrie, I mean, the, the, the Jaeger is still in position. Like, oh, oh, there we go. Now it's gone. That was not a dud. No. <laughs> I can do the dad jokes, too. The Jaeger is going to be felled, but at what cost? A minute 10 on the clock, and VNX is downstairs. Now, does he have a C4? I didn't spot that, actually, for the second. But uh, Mitty has already expended his Nitro Cell, so the Valkyrie should have a Nitro. Goo Mines are being set up everywhere, so this is the big advantage for Red Devils. Not only do they have time on their side, but also they can slow down their opponents should yeah. the need arise. Manpower advantage, of course, don't mm -hmm. forget. As that matters even more for the defenders than for the attackers, if the defenders are smart and can just play angles near sight, or even be just ready for a good retake. I mean, the, the important thing about a retake is cutting off exits more than anything else, because if they get outside, generally they have a much bigger advantage, but if you can cut off their ability to rotate out and defend it, well, then they just end up walking into death traps. And well, they're, oh. they're, they're going to go for the plant here. Boar is just... Uh, Attackers yeah, there are you go. <laughs> took a while. But oh, no. Mitty will find one. And no, the Legion will win it. Vitz will find the second one. Last alive. 
is the Havana here, down a half health. Not much that Borg can do us. Oh, I'll find one, but Mitty instantly taking him out. That's all she wrote for the round, is Red Devils will put a third one up on the board, and that's pretty darn good. I love how they and trapped him behind the desk, too. They, so I was talking about cutting off the exits, and the big door was exactly what I was thinking of. So the fact that they cut him off from escaping through the big door post-plant, that was uh, definitely the important part there, that that caused them to be able to win that fight. Because, yeah, they lost the Legion, who was already kind of wounded anyways from his fight, but... It was uh, people pretty much all around him at that point. He was not going to escape with his life. It was just a matter of if he was able to burn enough time so that they couldn't defuse afterwards, but definitely was not the case. So that's all three bomb sites. Now, one, they can just go on back and repeat the rotation as needed. So far, looking quite good for Red Devils, but, you know, you see how it was uh, with previous matches here today, that once it switches sides, it could completely reverse and repeat. Attackers so, need to locate and defuse We'll see if that ends up being the case. But Red Devils on garage again here. Velvet gonna be on that dock again. Drunk's going to be sticking onto that dokeby. So this is again the part of what makes me think the Capital was for upstairs, not for the garage. Is that he's sticking on or going back to the dokeby now that he knows they're going back to garage as a rotation. Mm -hmm. Now the smokes is definitely something you'd like to have. Um, yeah, this operator actually has smokes. <laughs> Very good point. Um, hmm. I I wonder. I, I like to have on play. Um, there's no. Hmm. There's no mutant bandit boat go. being played by Red Devils as they did in the very first round. Mm -hmm. Attackers will cover the Which is confusing because I and don't really bring. They bring the Thatcher, but or they don't bring the Thatcher. But the problem was before, not only did they not do that, but they also weren't really able to take control of the top floor. And beyond that, be able to take control of piano to destroy the utility that is. Well, I mean, they were they were able to at least get banded off a long enough to get the uh, Havana charges to, to blow up a yeah. part of the wall, because he wasn't able to trick it in time. That's that. But, both drones are dead. Yeah, he, they just keep throwing drones through the same window. I don't know. You could it's, there's, it's, there's a lot of windows shoot. there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there's there's other windows. Pull. Yeah. At this point, like. Are you just trying to give him something to do here? Are you trying to keep him busy? Like, I don't I don't know if that's worth it. Like, I, I don't even think you can get onto the drone to see what's killing your drone in time. Bring so me you, another... Oh, again! Just, oh, my God! The drone economy. This, the, is, this is why Red Devils are winning. It's just the drone economy is just... Is this the Wall Street crash of 2019? They're just throwing drones literally in toilets almost at this point. Like, they're just going to go into the bathroom and be like, all right, we know what to do with these. I wish I wish there was some place that we could see how many were left. And yeah, yeah. The that game. Oh, Mitty, Mitty. now. Ooh. He finds the head of Yuk, so even if he still had any... Use oh, no! Mitty shot from behind! Two kills to the way of INTZ, and it seems like they don't really require those drones, at least for now. Vitz is watching the backstairs. So far, he's not found anyone by the service area. Three, two, four, and INTZ still have... The Havana in play, and you hear the buck already doing work. Yep. Bandit, the mute alive, which means you have two C4s, at least I hope. Yeah, but one of them's out of the room, so. Oh, nice. Nope. Also, oh, it's already set. It's okay. already set. So, this is probably not going to be using his right anytime soon here, but he's pretty far from doing anything about the buck bucking piano, which is going to make a problem for Bandit because no one there to slow down the buck like last time means, well, he's probably oh. of it. Ooh. That was beautiful. Duds will get felt again. Now you lose the Zofia before you enter the site. 45 seconds on the clock, and Intact is still unsure of where his opponents are. Final set of drones here is Bor will go in. The Mute Jammer is going to get taken down on the side as Buck will continue to destroy as much of the floorboard as possible. Vitz will rotate back up and try to fight against that position. Abrao will take down Intact as. Now the push has to... Uh, you just hear the Xkyros going off at 20 seconds. Yeah, and Vitz is in such a prime position to hit the moment they go to try and plant. Oh, this is prime rib right there. We're going to go in for the call. The C4 pulled out, and there you go. That should be it. One kill on the Doka being a bro. We'll find another one. Board will get taken out, and Red Devils still salvage the round being a man down. No information left. No information even to be gathered. 
yeah. by the attacking side because they just chucked drones in there. It was a whole yeah. lot of skeet shooting. And that's there. the thing is you start sacrificing a lot of drones. Okay, yeah, other players have drones. You have 10 total. Maybe not as big a deal. But if the players that still had drones left start dying, those drones are also no longer available. It's a tough spot to be in, and they definitely really suffer from that because guess who was able to just kind of walk around the map once the drones were dead? Oomst. Vitz. Yeah, Hoomst. Hoomst. <laughs> Sounds like such a silly sounding word. But he was. He was able to just creep around. I mean, he didn't even have to kill Buck himself, but he was definitely in a position to had he needed to as he Attack snuck around slowly, finally, bomb. after getting some good stuff going on earlier. And, well... They're definitely playing off of all the information they have against the lack of information that we're seeing coming out from INTZ. This is definitely not top form INTZ we're seeing here. They're really seeming to struggle against the playstyle of Red Devils in terms of their seeming flexibility against the attack and their ability to get some early picks. That being said, they are also losing a player or two fairly early, especially Velvet has, has fallen a couple times. We've seen one or two other players occasionally follow early, or, you know, fall early, but. Either way, it doesn't seem to set them back. Oh! Five seconds what? insertion. He hit him! What? That moment of tension. You, 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 you heard. It's a body shot, right? Yeah, sometimes it's, you know, it's just deflected by the clothes. All right. So there's I want, a, there's I want. a bulletproof camera somewhere as well. Yeah, they've been running the dock pretty consistently here. Uh, I don't know if we've really seen where it's at, but... I think I saw it once, but that's that was basically... What I'm really uh, is surprised by is this Maestro setup with a fully destroyed wall. I'm intrigued. I want to see it work, yeah. and I want to see it in action. Yeah, we haven't really seen it. We, see, we did see the Maestro die at one point, so we didn't get to really see what he was going to do with it. But yeah, they haven't really gotten to the point where they're executing on that particular area, so we're not really seeing it. Does allow you to retake. Um, so, there's that, mm -hmm. but also having the one rotation hole on the other side of the long desk also allows you to do that. I don't know, it's just, I think the whole point is flexibility, but yeah. we just really want to see it in action to see how it... Really Maybe it's just, uh, they want Velvet to be playing that long desk pretty aggressively with the ACOG, which is somewhat normal, but he's kind of playing it in the middle as opposed to playing it on one side. Indeed, Black one Velvet, shot. if you please. <laughs> Another musical reference. I, thought this, I mean, that's kind of the same one you, you already made in a way, because you said it makes you think of that. Yeah, but now I actually make the reference. Uh, magic in action. There you go. Well, Yuke is at least taking control of Yellow Stairs. Not all of their drones have been thrown at Velvet. So this is a good position for NTZ to be in. If he can actually manage to sneak in without getting caught, is sometimes Ash can be quite quiet if you just sprint for a very brief period of time. Attackers have recovered their diffusers. But uh, they are doing a good job at least covering their flanks with those drones and setting up on this window. But will they cover properly for any kind of run out is always the big thing. But at least he has top of yellow stairs. Yeah, he'll cover himself here by the reinforced wall so he doesn't really have to worry about any uh, utility or any fire thrown towards him. Flashbang in and the second one as well. Third one is well, all expended just to clear out any ADSs and flash any players in the back. But I'll will get shot down by intact and of course that's the clear up in the bathroom and that's the rotation that the doc wanted to make and he'll actually make it happen finally getting the finisher but he'll get down he's gonna have to pick himself up asap and there you go back in 70 health the fuser is set on the floor four versus three Are there any grenades to be used here there's no smokes as well c4 has already been expended mitty might actually go for the dive outside he'll try to stick to the fuser you have to worry about him and intact will find one in connector room. Boar with the second one for 3v2. Mitty on the Maestro is still alive, but not with much health. Not for long. VNX will get at least one kill off of it, and Boar, the finisher, the cross angle established perfectly from INTZ. They'll put the, the round number five, or at least their first one here on the board. That was um, well executed, I have to say. Yeah. This is starting to feel fairly similar to the match we just had and the way it's kind of swinging mostly to one side on defense, and then it'll occasionally later on start to break a little bit uh, to the other side. and. So, I mean, it, it's pretty close to a similar idea, but either way, intact, very impactful that round. It was a very good one for him. Might as well call him impact. <laughs> okay. Lobby, we go, despite not winning the top floor. Obviously, they're not going to be playing Chaka, and he's not going to be playing Blackbeard either, which is part of the... I mean, you usually see Blackbeard banned fairly often on this uh, particular map. 
partially because he's such a beast on that one window, on the B window, as well as sometimes to help people get into admin. But either way, that last round, I definitely got to credit, like, even though Yuke died in his fight, the fact that he kept them busy while the plant was going down, I think was important. It definitely made a big difference. Also, intact doing a job on the uh, the patio windows definitely made a difference as well. So kind of just those two, the way they were acting in terms of uh, pressuring all the rest of the area so the, the diffuser could actually be planted, definitely critical to that actually pulling off. Midi going to try the cap can yet again. Let's see if it, uh, again, a fairly useful thing to be running here. Now, what some players will do also in the cap gun is that they'll leave one EDD at least in their back pocket for later on. Well, you get like a zillion of them, why not? Plus five, they're accountable. Five is a lot, though, for, for gadgets in this game. Very true. Legion has quite a few. Yeah, but rarely five at once. You, you say that, but we were casting an A when one of the players still had like five or six Gumais in the back pocket. Well, that was like, embarrassing, and I try and forget about it. I would hope that he would just die, and then his corpse would be like a porcupine. And it was actually against uh, a blitz, which was causing them a lot of problems. Yeah, sometimes hey. things like that you don't want to think about. Yeah, well, this is the lobby take, so you still need to take control of the top floor, the console chambers, Attackers and a projector before you go for the lobby. So those Capcom traps are actually a big investment for later on in the round, where your opponents are mostly going to be funneling in through the lobby and the mm -hmm. spiral staircase. Yeah, because they're going to be focused mostly on entry points right now, trying to soften those up. And Intax going to do exactly that, taking down Velvet yet again, who's he's had uh, a lot of hit-miss rounds, unfortunately a lot of missed ones with that uh, dock play, but he did do a lot of damage to Intact, and Intact does have time left to reset, so he's going to just jump ah, right on down, that much hurt. get that reset. Nah, it feels fine. <laughs> But he'll get back up, and that'll be a good thing. Now, with the smokes they have capable, assuming Drunks doesn't die early, they may just go for a front door smoke plant, or even smoke and then rotate uh, through the smoke to the other side of the desk where they planted last time. They still have to worry about the players above, and of course the, the destruction that's already been prepared by Red Devils um, is just present to deal with a front door push. So yeah. that's why it makes sense for the captain to set up his traps on the opposite end by the visa entrance. So, so you, it's, it's like as if you had a lesion. Oh, Ooh, unfortunately that window being open, working against him. Uh, good shot here from Boar, but Midi will connect. Impact <laughs> will go down to the EDD. And remember, if, oh, VNX with another one, Yuck will go down. Remember, if you run into an EDD and you are a three speed, you take 60 damage and then 10 less as you go down or go up in armor. Vitz is still in control of the top floor, still has three remote gas canisters, the Toxic Babes, as the Dokabee's low on health. Not sure if he still has any calls to be made, but Vitz is definitely ready. Oh, fires in the Zofia. Fire from him as well, Duds is lower on health. Gas canister thrown all the way down. No, no diffuser said just yet. As VNX is hungry for information, the call will come in from the Dokabi. C4 thrown out just to deal with any plants. In the meantime, the Zofia is just going to get cleared up. And VNX will run through the smoke for just a second. He spots one right by the window. And will he break it and run out? Yes, he will. But he's instantly shot down by Boar. Fits on half health as the shotgun in hand can finish it all right here with their mode gas need as well. Is he going to use this correctly? There's plant right by B. I'll take a lot of damage here on the Doka B, but the Diffuser will be set. The Twitch will make it happen. And Drunks... Oh, how does he survive it here? Just ran right through the smoke! Just barely with his life. That really would have helped. Oh, now they set up behind the half walls, and this is going to be nigh impossible for Vitz to retake. Oh, or is it? If is, they don't have a drone. His only chance to go for the... Oh my, oh my. Oh, if they don't have a drone, you could potentially stick it. Don't peek him! Don't peek him, he'll go for it! Drunks will go down, and now Boar will have to run all the way to the back. And play, he can play this angle fairly efficiently, but he can't find the smoke as he goes in to take down the diffuser. Not much time left, but anyways, go. this would have been for INTZ, as Boar will find it. INTZ to put the second round on the board, and that'll leave the half at four to two. Advantage still for the Red Devils. Still a pretty good start for Red Devils. The question is though, will their attack be better than INTZ's? Who really kind of struggled till the very end when they finally kind of adapted to the way that it was being played and were able to more consistently take out Velvet again. Stop throwing drones right at him. So Red Devils going to, I imagine they might sixth pick something here, but 
looks like they might show the Dokubi as well. They are going to be starting on console rather than garage. Now there is just the one hard breacher being brought here. Boar sneaking off the bandit. He might have been teasing the bandit to make them think it was going to be garage, and he is going to go pulse. So he may still be in the garage, or downstairs at least, but with a different option. Attackers operator. need to locate and defuse bombs. All right. Oh, I'm very uh, interested in seeing how pulse will be run, but even more so that. Unfortunately, we're not going to see that same Maestro setup with the completely destroyed wall that uh, could. Red Devils were running. Yeah, probably not. Zero for Yukon Drunks, though, out of six rounds. Not great. Not great. And that might be a, somewhat of a contributor to why they only got two. Six, six, six. Oh, yes. again. It's more appropriate for Red Devils, yes, though. Yes, very true. Can we flash that again? <laughs> yeah. Or see you will call Brazil. Just Brazil, not even like... I was going to be more specific, but I was like, nah. Brazil. Alright, let's set up the second evil eye in here. And uh, that's a pretty good spot in the console office. It, it is fairly far forward, so you can't really use it um, very effectively against players that are on the window itself. It's more for when they dive into the yeah. site itself. It also makes it difficult for them to do anything about it from the window, which is, I think, more the important part in terms of, will this live? Because they might just go in for a smoke plant without knowing it's there, and then all of a sudden you can see through their smoke, and that gives a chance. Also, you have a pulse, so between those two things, the smoke might just turn into their tomb. Let's see. Mitty downstairs on the sludge. And it's just walking around. You know, looking around, by sure there's uh, nobody in the lobby, trying to contest. The NX in the meantime is destroying the windows by the uh, western wall. I'll just walk out as Velfit is burning any ADSs in the yellow stairs, and there you go. One of them has been taken down with the stun grenades. Now it's going to be Sledge's job to actually do the kill, and I would think. Yeah. Attack still launching in by the window. Needs to be sure there's nobody repelling to try and fight him in this situation. Now, the wall behind him is completely reinforced, which means if Red Devils had had a Capital in this position, it would have been great, but also because you can create... Oh, oh, no, that's a good way to make sure this is an easier route. I don't know if that's a 2K. I don't know if that we can count it as yeah. a double kill. I got to imagine that was a case of uh, just Ash doing Ash things right in front of me. Well, VNX uh, not using the Gizmoch just yet to stun his opponents. Logic Bomb has already been used once, but they'll hack into the cameras, which will give them access yeah. to pretty much everything that's Now they'll know where that evil eye is. Very, very true. All, all for nothing. Well, they'll be able to see through the smoke now, too. <laughs> so that could be helpful. Very true. Intact, though, has a shotgun on the stairs, and this is definitely a place for you to fear if you're attacking into this. Second remote gas canister has been used, but 55 seconds on the clock, still one in the back pocket. Intact will get called, and that's the second Gishmok thrown into him with no follow up as the Dokabi will take down the barbed wire. Oh no, they're gonna try to push together into this guy, and there you go. Two so that's in combination. Easy, easy, easy. easy. You don't push into a shotgun, and Zofia's thing is gonna do very little to a shotgun because it doesn't blind you necessarily. I can see why Red Devils didn't go for a push from the admin. Uh, but this is why Thermite is just not worth it most yeah, yeah. of the time, depending on the site. But more often than not, just to be flexible with the, the site choice of your opponents, just run the Havana. And you know this round is as good as done. 4v1, 15 seconds on the clock. The middle have to walk in. He'll find one on Duds, but quickly dispatched by Drunks. There you go. Drunks is off the zero now. He's off the chain. <laughs> not so great for Red Devils that round, though. The team kill probably not helping contribute to that as well. So hopefully that wasn't a tilting team kill. But either way, not too bad. Still, they have a point lead here. But it's uh, slowly dwindling. Now, there will be the garage being played. So this is where the Thermite, as you mentioned, uh, is a bit more useful. But like you said, Habana going to be a much better play most of the time because you can still open the garage as needed. But you can also open angles into the projector for if you were going to go for a plant inside projector on that top floor as well, instead of focusing so much attention on those deadly yellow stairs. Defenders, see if he's going to get to attackers. use this uh, pulse, as it could be interesting to be able to play against piano, but it is a dangerous game to do so. Or just being played in archives to kind of play it back a little bit. 
Stop some other map control inside Visa, perhaps. We'll see how he plays. It looks like he's going to go for just the Archives play for the moment. Attacker's pretty much going with the same lineup here. One thing I do want to highlight is that Latin America so far has not played the server slash Visa yeah. site. Well, that's good. Uh, not at all. That's good to good to know. As uh, it's been pretty rare. I feel like we've only seen it once. It's been played Maybe twice. It's been played a couple times for for NA. Not this season though, if I remember. Yeah, correctly. I mean for this season, I feel like we've seen it once. EU has played it. Maybe twice. Played it a considerable um, like amount more than anyone else. Yeah, they're definitely uh, feeling the variety more, which is nice to see. As NA was the, is the team that more often will try new maps, but maybe EU being more adventurous on bomb sites. Changing mags. Well, a bit of site rotations and angles being set up to provide some access. Could be also going for the stand-up shot that you can get by climbing up and firing through the angle there, I, or just having a evil eye through it. I wouldn't. I would have just stayed there with a the default cam up because that would have turned uh, very sour very fast. Yeah. When you're standing on the on the soft hatch next to you in the closet, mm, nah. <laughs> mm, what's up, Doc? Yeah, not so great. Well, at least they're getting in and takes the map control, but ooh, almost contested there. Midi just barely not finding the top of lower spiral. Got to be careful in these situations. Drunks will fire in, and I'm not sure what hit there. Board downstairs in the servers will also spot the player on the outside. He does have one reinforced hatch next to him, so he doesn't really have to deal with pushes from there that is in the hallway. Nope, he reinforced it himself like a good boy. Smart. Smart, 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 smart. Even if he doesn't go for any C4, and he's still playing a valuable role in being it's pretty much standing. secure for the most part and just gathering info. And of course, me, Mute in the meantime, she's denying information. Again, the C4 that is put up there. I oh. wish we could talk about it. Velvet will get the shot on intact. The goo mine will go in the foot of the ash, but that's pretty much all the damage that'll be thrown the way of this ash. Abrao, in the meantime, is taking a bullet to the torso as well, so the thermite takes just a bit, but wow. we'll dive in and VNX actually wins the fight. I didn't expect anyone to contest archives like that, but he certainly just dropped it right in. I'm why did they leave the hallway hatch open? And from behind, Duds will get one hill spray to the second, and there you go. Midi's on the floor. There's still one outside, but Duds will continue to maneuver around the yellow stairs, all to his advantage. He's in a good position, but they kind of know he's there at this point and takes a lot of damage for it. Velvet in a really good position to potentially win this fight health-wise and speed-wise, but they don't know where he's at now. And with the time running down, Red Devils have to decide, do we go for the site or do we just go for Hunt? And Yuck will get taken down. 3v2 now, advantage for Red Devils. As Duds will go down and they still have to watch for it. Trunks instantly snapping onto VNX as they'll find the kill. There's still one right next to him, the spray through the wall. Drux will find it. That's the fuser on the floor. Velvet now moving in the barbed wire, spots him. The Maestro knows exactly where he's at. The C4 was right above. The spray right all through the wall, but he can't find the Maestro of Drunks, who's right behind on the opposite end of the hallway. Velvet will find one. Three seconds left on the clock as we find the Diffuser, but is he going to plant it? No, he cannot. You are out of time. Out of time. And INTZ again. Man. Yeah. Creeping towards that potential tie. Time management. Yep. I mean, at least that time, Ash not getting team killed was able to be a lot more effective, but nonetheless, the rest of his team dying, a little less effective. That two-piece, though, for Jaeger definitely made things a lot more difficult. Yeah, no no biscuit there at the end, but the two-piece was definitely present. Yeah, absolutely. We could be seeing another Finca being played here by Vitz. If he sticks on it, could just be a tease as well, which it is going to be to a six pick of Mystery. Oh, and there's Boar sneaking one in as well. Pulse, Getting that pulse yeah. skin, and then the twitch. Neither of those a real surprise. No. A lot of people ask you, hey, why doesn't everybody bomb. use the six pick? Well, I mean. You got to have a reason to for it to really be worthwhile most of the time. Yeah, you don't always have to use it. I mean, no. Sometimes you can use it to like really throw off your opponents, but. Hey. I mean, it's the same reason you don't always have to pick the weird third bomb site. You know, like you don't you don't always have to be like, ah, I have to go to that to surprise them. It's like, well, then that gets kind of predictable. Yeah, true, true. Yuck, though, still not finding any kills. Unfortunate. Four, four. This is turning way too close. Whoa! 
It, it, again, I, I feel like, you know, with with the strength of defense, in the current uh, meta of sorts, along with the, the way the operator bands are going, it's definitely been the case where, well, it's, you're, you're going to see a lot of defensive wins. Is this going to turn into a, tie, a third tie? I, I think it's entirely plausible. Entirely possible. <laughs> Thanks for catching that. That's important. I uh, completely missed that opportunity. Yeah, I tied it together. Thank you. Well, how are we even friends? Uh, <laughs> Mitty finds the kill, and Boar has been taken down. So no six pick for you. You know, you, it's it's just not not there. So you're dead. Oh, just oh, he finds the head. <sighs> well, either way, they're going for that uh, bottom up approach you were talking about earlier. At least clearing it out before moving outside, which is odd. I mean, usually you go. Top down, right? Well, they no, they want to clear out Attackers the pulse. Is the thing is they wanted to take him out. And they did exactly that. Mission accomplished. Time to move on to clear out the top floor. Mission accomplished, people. That's right. We're going home. <laughs> We're gonna bring those bows home. That's right. Throw up the banner. Let's go. A bomb is located. All right. Well, short of uh, George Wing the whole situation, we'll see how oh. INT said continue with this as intact evades the damage. Now he's just. He's just got to play his position. He really doesn't want to lose this because he knows he's vital to holding between the two sites as well as that hole right there. If he gives that position up, then they can go and plant piano if they need to, which is uh, potentially easier to deal with in some ways than trying to push into that main door. Uh, he's going to set up to destroy the maestro camera in the back. Nice. Nicely done. Well done. Look at the reinforcements that are set. The second maestro as well I spotted. Oh, is he going to get two for two? Uh, Kobe! Uh, check it. Yeah. Hey. Oh. oh. Sorry, Mitty. Sorry. Well, at least one gotta, for one. Got to work on that backhand. At least he can sledge it, right? So he can walk up to it. It's not on right now. He can hit it. He's not the worst operator, but VNX finding one and then traded back onto Vitz. Drunks, well done here. Still to find the refrag, but look at the amount of damage that's been done to the Maestro Drunks. Not well, a good spot to be in. He's still doing much better on defense than attack. Oh, oh shotgun this hand timing. intact. He can go for it, but the sludge is ready. Midi will find the headshot. He goes in through the goo mine, but Drunks is so low on health as well upstairs that it might not be the end of the world. <sighs> Dutch is on the lobby side, though, so the Jaeger can just rotate up by the yellow stairs. Attackers are activating. the player close up. No, the diffuser's already set. No, they didn't even have to deal with it. It's set by the piano. And Drunks will have to go back for the retake, and... Oh, a brow will find it. He's just sitting right by the piano and VNX for the last one as he went all the way up to hunt for drunks and the hunt for the red dog, red January, I guess. There you go. <laughs> I wanted to make a transition. If only it was October. Important thing is at least you knew which month it was. So, it's you October? Know. No, January, I mean. There you go. <laughs> Fuse me from there. I'm like, no. I don't know, man. Super year. Is yeah, you, just... start, you start losing track of which, yeah, which, which month year you're in, is. which year, yeah. Where Century. are we? Century. Which, which world? Ave Cesar. Uh, well, no, we're. It's not. It's not the Roman Empire. Well, we'll see if Duds will be part of that Roman Empire. What? <laughs> <laughs> I, that, was, that was that was bad. We're getting, we're getting stretched can, in here. Can we can we reset? Yeah. That? yeah. Can we can we start this round over? Hold on. I should just I should just let that one pass. That is getting late. Or well, early. I like that uh, evil eye right there that he put just between the two rooms, so he can watch all the way down long desk towards the soda machine, as well as the yellow stairs door into the console office and potentially even a little bit of connector as well as the door coming out of the bathroom. That's, it's a lot of visibility. Of course, it requires a lot of rotating to be able to see that, but it's a nice spot. It can be potentially difficult to deal with. As it will require an angle they will likely not have for some time, although he's going to potentially give it to them to the extent that he opens that wall up to the patio. Now, that attacking round, the first one was Red that Red Devils were able to win on this. Yeah, that was the, I mean, but to be fair, INTZ were only able to win two on their attack. Indeed. So. We'll see again, like I said, is, is creeping towards a tie. And uh, this is ex the same situation we were in last match, right? We had what? Well, that was a nice start. So he's not going to be Roman. Oh, I see what you, oh, now I got it. You really, oh, wow. Okay. I, I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna have a hand signal for these from the future. What's the hand signal for Roman? 
<laughs> it's the hand signal for there's something hidden you didn't hear. Alright, well, Boar trying to find... Oh, that was close, too. Through the window, there's nobody through there. As uh, you'll see, the attacking side is at least watching through, because they know he would be out oh. there. And, no, he has no information. There was no point in throwing out the nitro cell. He's still got a camera in pocket, too. I, yeah, I wouldn't... I would not have done that. Well, the way, two ADSs right there, trying to get burned out. Somehow did not catch the flashes. They're throwing them just away. There's still an ADS available in the back. I mean, the nice thing about not catching the flashes, it means there's four charges and then now two left. They're just going to run out of things to throw in. They're shooting the Zofia's lifelines at this point to Attack try and burn it out. But it looks like it's finally done. Both charges, as you can see, if you're not aware, as I was explaining how they work earlier, you see the red lights are gone. That means they are out of charges. Indeed. Midi is just going to come in and drone. They know what the smoke is. And a reminder of how this push oh. over the stairs went before in the grenade. Perfectly timed by Midi. He almost got shot in the process, though. Good was... timing. Just dodging and ducking and weaving to, to go away from the fire of the SMG-11 and the smoke. Oh, well, there you go. That'll net him the second kill the round before oh, the attack. There it is. Run out and he'll find it. There you go. Bit of damage done to Boar, but it's more than enough. Mitty has been shot down, even though he already got the kill that was required. So, all in all, an equilibrium. Except for the one manpower advantage. Indeed. So, if they can play it off. Now, there's a lot of off-site play happening from the INTZ guys. So, if they can go in for plant, which they've been able to do somewhat here, it's a good chance they might be able to make this work. All right, Boar is downstairs here in the lobby. We'll fall, or we'll go back up to support Yook. But Volvid, it's already fallen one. 2v4 as the smokes are blocking line of sight for Yook. There, oh, there should have been a maestro upstairs to give him information, but Red Devils just clean up INTZ. Here's they, a comeback. They're setting themselves on map and match point. That was That is very much a comeback. So, potential tie here, although it is still entirely plausible that Red Devils just close this out and we don't end up in that tie situation because they have two rounds yep. to do it. Statistically speaking. Yeah. And they are the underdog. So this is important to get that early lead because True. they are likely to struggle with a fair amount of matches. So any early wins versus ties they can get, trying to keep them off of that auto relegation spot at the bottom, very, very important. Yeah. Even though we're in week three, we saw how things snowballed uh, at the end of this, this season. And if this, this does turn into a 7-5 again, this will be the third time that INTZ lose to a team 7-5 after having lost to Pain and to NIP. The same exact um, scoreline. So they can they can always get it just to the edge, but never quite close it out. Yeah, they did play Oregon and Bank, uh, the two maps that were played there. Yeah. It's been a fair amount of Bank play, not so much this week, just because, well, you can't play it uh, if you played it last time, or, you know, if your opponent played it last time. So I imagine we'll see it again rotate in next week, or next play day tomorrow, rather. I keep saying next week, I forget that it's just it's usually tomorrow. Tomorrow. Right? Because we're usually doing the day ones yeah. of the week. So. This is, uh, this is on Red Devils, though, that uh, they have to not choke. And part of the reason we're seeing ties is the teams aren't able to get that momentum once they get on a match point. They seem to struggle with closing that out because, well, it is a lot of pressure to try and, you know, get that seven. Your team will, the other team will often uh, also be invigorated by the fact that they have that comeback to try and rally. Yep. And often will do so. They would be backed up against the wall, and in that case, you got to fight for survival. And it's that fight or flight uh, situation that you push yourself into. Despite the uh, number of ties we've seen so far this week, though, I do think they are still going to be overall relatively rare in the season to the last season. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, but it's, uh, it's definitely a case where you never know. You know. It's up to the teams. In Latin America, probably one of the most contended regions outside of EU in terms of most of the region being relatively equal in skill. I would say more so for Latin America in terms of when it came down to the end, it was very difficult to judge who would even end up in the relegation spots. I feel like that, that was a story, though, for the, for the entirety of Pro League. But especially, uh, so, I mean, yeah. you had Supremacy in EU, for example, that was like, okay, they're they're probably that they, ace. They won a game, they won against Vitality. That was an awful game. Yeah. With, with all due respect. <laughs> with all due respect. Yeah, well, yeah. Midi here on the sledge, still in the same position, though I wonder if the wall in the bathroom is reinforced again. Yeah, might give himself an escape this or time. No, 
Vince is gonna find the first. Yuk will go down, and it, I don't think Yuk has final sing, found a single kill this Attack whole match. From Dutz, will find the kill on a brow. The grenade's been lobbed back in, and no damage done to intact. Is Dutz gonna get shot down? Unfortunately, a bit spending a bit too much time. Yeah. On the outside, it was already spotted and got shot down. Now will intact jump out and go for the risky play. Is at least peeking out pretty uh, pretty wide here. They're at match oh. point in a dangerous situation, and now 2v4. They need to just make the smartest plays they can, and it seems like they're getting aggressive instead. There's C4 available, and the Maestro as well, with the amount of overwhelming potential fire. Bolt, unfortunately, cannot see through the smoke. Oh, the timing. Oh, man. The Zofia perfectly timed here. He'll go for the headshot. Bolt will find it. If it's going down. That's the one that they needed. The Sledge will go down as well. Drunks to turn into a 2v2. And now the shield has been set up. VNX, though, will come in from the back of Drunks to fall. Bor. Watching just in case the Ash would like to drop in. But do they have info? Where's the Diffuser? It's in the hands of the Ash. They shall have to rotate all the way around to the A site. The default cam here in the hallway has still not been taken down as it flashes red. Velvet will finally... Get close to the boundary now. The Zofia spotted Boar. Still has a Nitro Cell in hand. Refuser will get put down. Will it stop it? No, there's... They shot it out. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Boar has found one, but VNX for the... Oh, my God. Well, heartbreaking there. But 7-4 victory for Red Devils. They come back into this one and they clean it all up. Well done by what you mentioned are the underdogs. Yeah, in a this fantastic match. showing by them. I mean, it was definitely a, a, a rough battle to get here, and they certainly have made a count. VNX and MIDI definitely showing up, but look at everyone pretty much near do, uh, double digits. You know, two people at nine as well. So you uh, unfortunately, still holding that zero at the end. And like we always say, kills aren't everything, but if you get none, then they're nothing.